So, welcome to the video. In this video, I'm actually going to be using my voice for the first time, probably in any of them. So, welcome. And today, we're going to be looking at War Thunder and some of the Christmas lights which they've put around the map on the first one. Now, um, if you look around these ones, you can just see there's presents. You've got a jet fighter, which they did say they weren't going to be adding, but they did. You got a helicopter, which they also weren't going to add, but they did. That was teased in April Fools. And then on the army one as well, you've basically got what's already in the game. So you've got tanks, helicopters, a jet, and a boat. But um, what I found quite interesting is if you click onto the boat, I mean boat, there we go, and uh, you turn around, so you got a boat here on your front, which you expect's already in the game. But if you look over here, you've got a submarine. And I think, was it last year's April Fool's, they decided to place a submarine in the game as a bit of an April Fool's joke, see what people liked of it, and whether it was testing for something. So what we've seen is, as you can see the submarine back there, does that mean War Thunder is going to be teasing us about adding boats to War Thunder? And will, with the next few updates, will we see submarines be integrated into the boat tree? Because if I just load up the tree for a boat, where will boats be on this tree? So will they be at the bottom here, so like a 7th rank? Or will we see a whole new one there, so like helicopters have got one? Will we see that as submarines? Don't know how well they're going to change this. It's going to be interesting how it develops. We have got the Swedish tree, which they're currently adding to. So it's whether they're going to finish the Swedish tree. Then go and try and add submarines, because the April Fool's has got it all in place. It shows it is ready. It's just when War Thunder are actually going to implement it into the game. So in many other ones, we've got April Fool's Day events, which, yes, haven't come to light, depending on how old they are. But then the more recent ones have actually come to light. So you've got the modern MBTs. So on the tank tree, you've got a load of modern tanks, which were only teased. And then now, if we're looking to get submarines in this room and jet fighters, then uh, it's going to be a more inclusive in some aspects. Because you've already got all the ground. You've got army and you've got helicopters, because, yeah, you can expect to be able to fly helicopters in matches. Uh, IBR rounds, so it kind of finishes off the land tree as well as the aviation tree. The only thing we don't really have is, like... Uh, the really early space, uh, early early craft, or maybe even um, certain prototypes. It'd be interesting to see if they can fit like a B fifty two in or something like that, either into the plane tree, or even maybe some of the more recent ones. So we've got the M uh, Abrams, sorry, in the tanks. So are they going to try and add maybe an F thirty five or some, or an F twenty two or F sixteen Tomcat to here? See whether that'll add anything to the game. But I still think fleet. You've only really got boats. So all the basic come from it appears to be quite one-sided on boats. It's mainly just a focus on boats. Yeah, you've got a hydrofoil, and you've got destroyers. But whether it'd be interesting to see whether we could add aircraft carriers, so people can play as a support role in realistic matches. Whether that'll make it a bit more interesting, or whether we can have submarines acting as part of normal boat matches. So okay, another one in realistic. So whether submarines will actually change the field of play and how submarines kind of integrate in to uh, change the field of boats as we know because currently you've got these boats which are very surface based but the later BI you get um, some of these boats down here they're going to be fighting submarines anyway in the Pacific and the Atlantic so, during World War 2 so um, to be honest they're going to have submarine detection technology we've already got depth charges on all boats pretty much even these boats up here have got depth charges so it just depends how we're going to actually see how this promotes and advances so if we're just going to preview this one, this will be one of those boats that will be probably out in the Pacific. It'll be big enough to survive, probably, I don't know, submarine attack, depending on what I got hit with. It's got enough cannons, you're probably going to look at a few depth charges. You're definitely going to be able to fight a small submarine if you're looking for size comparison here. So, yeah, it's interesting to see what Warton have actually done for Christmas, and whether this submarine is actually going to be... A link towards what will be coming along next in Warton, and how whether having that submarine's was maybe supposed to be an easter egg or maybe it's supposed to be something that only certain players will notice and actually pick up on but I kind of hope it gets added in total because I think it will change how War Thunder is viewed by many people and how the game is able to develop thank you and subscribe if you want to know more of the content you can like and, subs uh, like and share the video as well if you want to but mainly just subscribe if you do want to see more of these videos most of them are, I'm crying create compilations, not these kind of ones. This is just because I happen to notice there was a submarine there. So, yeah, thank you for watching.